Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and I have a package to open. Um, I actually just opened my River's Edge Cutlery Lil Native. Just don't need to adjust it, it's a little firm. Um, but I am so stoked about this knife, it is fantastic. I, uh, oh man, I tried to fix the settings of focusing, and uh, it doesn't seem to have helped. So apparently I've got some more work to do in that arena. Plus. I feel like now it's mirroring me compared to how it used to look. I don't know. I did weird things to my camera. Anyway, <laughs> I uh, I just unboxed this and I had another box sitting here and I thought it was something else and then I realized it was the other order that I had from River's Edge Cutlery. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. I'm really excited about it. It's something that I have thought about getting for a long time and I just haven't like let myself for one reason or another it's a big box by the way happens to have come in a fruit by the foot box which i think is awesome um but yeah so this is going to be uh, you've already probably read in the title of the video it's a holtzbrook um axe but it's like a 16 inch handle so it's kind of like a hatchet kind of like an axe i don't know at what point does a hatchet become an axe anyway this one I've had my eye on for a long time. I've kind of looked at the options they had at River's Edge Cutlery because I know they carry some stuff like this. And uh, I just didn't, I didn't know which one to go with. So I've watched a couple of reviews and stuff and I've just kind of tried to learn a little bit about the differences between the models. And uh, I just kind of landed on this one. Judging by the size of this box, I think I kind of went the right direction. So my vision for this axe, hatchet, whatever you want to call it, is that it'll be uh, the right size for me to be able to pack it in my day pack. And if I'm just having fun doing bushcrafty type stuff, it's a great tool to have. So I think that I went the right way, but there's going to be some testing and a review to find out. <laughs> um, but this is not like my area of expertise. Um, also, at River's Edge Cutlery with their orders lately is doing this really fun thing where they uh, have these little bandage dispensers. And uh, so with my little native, I got a blue one. And then with this order, I just got the orange one. It's like a really bright highlighter orange. It's like fluorescent or neon. Or... Anyway, so let's get this out of the box here. Oh, this is dope. So it comes in this like specifically shaped box for it. And uh, there's this little booklet that's actually attached with twine onto the handle, but this just looks really cool in here. <laughs> um, I'm pretty stoked about this. Comes with a leather mask that looks really nice to me. Set that box down. Yeah, I think size-wise, I went the right way. It's interesting because there's like, I don't know, there's like a 15 inch, there's like a 14 inch, I think. There's like I think this is 16, and then there's obviously bigger, there's smaller, but I feel like in my head, the difference between like one inch of handle isn't that significant, but people have opinions on the subject, and uh, so I just kind of went with my gut of like, I liked the dimensions of this head, I liked that it seemed like a good weight for me to reasonably be able to pack in somewhere, um, but still have some good kind of chopping power behind it, and I think it just looks really cool. So yeah, I think this is a 16 inch handle, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get this off of here. It's cool that it comes with this booklet. Yeah, so this is the Almike hatchet. Okay, so it's a hatchet, not an ax. The Almike hatchet, these are made in Sweden. It has a one pound head on it and a 16 inch handle. Okay, so that answers all those <laughs> spec questions about this, I guess. Um, yeah, this is sweet. It's just like a really cool branded booklet with like the story of how they started making axes. I feel like Holtzbrook has been making axes for a really long time from what I've seen. And uh, I'm not an expert, but if I love this, then maybe I'll <laughs> decide to become one. It's really, really cool. So nice little booklet that comes with it. And let's see. So this, these seem to like tighten it. So I guess I pull. Yeah, I just pull on those. That allows it to swivel forward. Oh, look at that edge. Oh man, that's gnarly. 
So it's got this like convex edge on it right now. And as you can see, the head looks like it's all forged and just kind of gnarly looking. But then that edge is like mirrored. Whoa. Yeah, that is sweet. So obviously, uh, I shouldn't say obviously. So recently <laughs> I reviewed a, an RMJ Tomahawk. It was called The Little Bird, and my buddy Wes from The Pocket Perspective loaned it to me. Um, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I ended up ordering this like right as I was kind of finishing up that review because I knew I wanted something small and packable that I could have that type of fun with out in the woods. And I'm probably still going to get a tomahawk of sorts. I'm, I'm just not sure what I'm going to get yet. And uh, in the meantime, I, I thought this was a reasonable, like responsible tool for me to own because uh, it's just, this is a, a more proper tool. There's nothing like tactical about this. Um, this should just do work. <laughs> um, so it's got a great flat back here where I can pound in tent stakes and stuff. This would be a great camp tool. Um, even for yard work and stuff, I can see this being handy. Right now, living in an apartment, yard work isn't the biggest thing for me, but I'm not going to be in an apartment forever. So I don't know. It's just, it seems like somewhat responsible for being a, a fun toy <laughs> at the same time. And uh, I'm really liking the length and the proportions of this. It feels really good. I can't wait. Tomorrow, I'm actually going out hiking. So this will be in my pack and I'm going to find an excuse to just start chopping stuff up with it. It's so rad. So yeah, it's got the Holtzbrook kind of stamp in here, made in Sweden. There's like a 0 0.5. I don't know what that means. And then there's a one. I don't know what that means. Maybe that it's a one pound head. <laughs> Anyways, it's got those markings on it. I like how it's kind of like such a rough forged vibe and then you get like a literal mirrored <laughs> convex edge. That's pretty sweet. I do have a kind of like a hockey puck shaped sharpening stone that's just two grits, one on each side. And uh, I've used that for, I've got like a cold steel axe that's much longer and bigger than this. And uh, I've used that a, a good few times to put a fresh edge on there and uh, it's worked well. So hopefully I'll be able to use that same stone to keep this sharp. This is sweet. Yeah, I really, really like this. It's interesting. It's got a little cautionary thing burned on there <laughs> where it says, caution, use safety goggles. Flying debris can result in eye or other injury. Axe for cutting wood only. Contact with hard object can result in blade or head chipping. Do not use to strike against any non-wood object. Do not use if blade is dull chipped or otherwise damaged or if handle is broken or loose blade is sharp and contact may result in injury handle with care keep out of reach of children so pretty sweet i do feel also like i can choke up here pretty good i don't know how this will be for <laughs> cutting but we're gonna find out i uh i'm really stoked about this it's a great like one hand size packable I could tuck this onto like some of the straps on the outside of my pack or easily throw it into my pack. It'd be fine. It comes with a great mask. That cold steel axe that I have, um, I want to say it's called like the Trail Boss or something. I, I got it after watching like a Wrangler Star review on it. And it was a great deal. It was very inexpensive. I want to say it was like in the $30 range on Amazon. And for that, like, great. But it didn't come with a mask or a sheath of any kind. And so I ended up buying one that was like kind of fits the head, but then I had to like run paracord and a clasp around it. And it's just like kind of ghetto the way I, the way I store it. Um, so this is nice that on here, it's got a, a good proper like made for it mask. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. Yeah, and then you just, then you just pull on these. That tightens it right up against there. Oh, it looks like it's got a belt loop on here too. Sweet. So I could even with this secure on there, I could reasonably put that in a belt. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know if that I'll feel the need to do that. Um, it seems like a kind of a bulky thing to keep on my belt while hiking around or something, but this is a nice, I think mask is the, the technical term from what I've kind of picked up on. Anyway, this is sweet. As always, River's Edge Cutlery is awesome. I feel like this is a cool um, 
kind of show of the types of things that they carry as well. I feel like, I don't know, there's probably a, quite a few knife retailers also carry things like axes and stuff, but not just axes. Uh, River's Edge Cutlery carries like a lot of just like good kind of outdoorsy gear. And as somebody who likes to spend time outdoors and kind of makes a lot of justifications for the gear I buy because of <laughs> that stuff that I do, I like that they have that vibe to them and that they carry stuff like this and not just folders, you yeah. know. This is a sweet, sweet little hatchet. So we're going to get it out and start getting it dirty tomorrow. <laughs> That's for sure. But uh, this is cool. So I guess this is my official unboxing of the Holtzbrook Tarnaby. No, Almike. The Almike hatchet. Yeah, the Tarnaby is a different model. <laughs> this is the Almike. I don't know. Maybe these are like Ikea names because they're from Sweden. And so like the Almike is like, the, what's this drawer next to me? The Hildj or something? <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm off in the weeds. Anyways, this is sweet. River's Edge Cutlery is going to be linked down below as always when I get stuff from them because I appreciate them and they're awesome and they support me in a number of ways and they're really cool. So check out their site if you haven't or their YouTube ch channel if you haven't or their Instagram if you haven't. They'll all be linked down below. Thanks, guys. I'll see you on the next one.